Hey, uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a SQLite connection in a Jupyter Notebook so that you can run a SQL query to get information out of your database. So what I did to start off um, was I created a database in DB Browser for SQLite. So it saves your CSV as a database file. Um, and then obviously I um, the database file showed up in Jupyter and I made a, uh, a folder to put the database file in and then I started my notebook. So if you click there, it'll just take you right back to Jupyter Notebook. So um, if we were going to uh, do an analysis here, we would import some packages. So I typically will import pandas, numpy, uh, and then if we want to run a query, we need SQLite 3 and SQL. And then if I were going to do some visualizations, I would definitely import like matplotlib in Seaborn 2. Um, but for, for the purposes of this, we don't need to do that. So. we do want to create a connection to the database file. Um, so to do that, we need our database file, which I named insurance. So insurance.db. And then to create a connection here, we need SQL and database. So that is just connecting our database that we have named right up here. All right, so I didn't have any wrong characters anywhere in this. <laughs> that happens sometimes. And then we can do our query. So we can select everything from insurance. So insurance is the table name, which is uh, usually just the name of like the actual CSV file in Excel. Um, with with DB browser, you can upload uh, multiple CSVs so that you have lots of tables. So like if you wanted to do a SQL join, that is totally possible. And then we'll just name our uh, query connection DF for data frame. So pd.read SQL query. And then we have our query and our connection. And can check to make sure all our data made it in here. Yep, sure did. Um, thank you so much for watching.